Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our webinar about using detailed call data from the user console. If you can remain muted, please join the presentation um, and put any questions that you have in the meeting chat, and then we'll answer those questions at the end for you. Any questions that we don't have time to answer, uh, we will include in the frequently asked questions section on the webinar web page. So you can retrieve standard reports from the reports console via the single sign on page. However, you can also export the real call data to allow you to get a more detailed insight into the calls in the practice. So, for example, we're going to look at running a report today that's going to show you the most frequent callers into the practice. Um, you can see the outbound calls that are made to any chargeable numbers or which calls were missed and then investigate whether those patients have actually got through and speak to the practice in the end. So during this session, we're going to be looking at accessing the user console, which is where you're going to get your real call data from. Within the user console, we'll look at accessing the archive calls. We'll look at the call filters that are available through the user console. And also look at manipulating the exported data in a spreadsheet. We're going to be using Google Sheets today. Obviously, you can use any spreadsheet uh, program that you use normally within the practice there. So to access the user console, you can either go through the menu, which is the three lines just next to your initials at the top of each of the console pages. Or you can go through the single sign on window. So when you first log in, you'd be heading for the user console, which is where you'd normally head on a day to day basis there. When you access the user console, you'll have your calls over on the left hand side of the screen. So at the moment, we're on our most recent calls because we have the blue lightning strike showing at the top of the calls list on the left hand side there. If I click on the archive calls button, which is the button just next to it, that will then take us into the calls uh, going back up to three years when you've been with a Surgery Connect for three years. It will give you call data up to the current time as well. When I click on the archive calls, it will automatically resort the data for me and it puts in a predetermined date range. So that's normally seven days from the date that you uh, run that report. So it will go from today's date backwards for seven days automatically within uh, the archive calls there. Once you have the calls on the screen, you can then export that data straight away. Um, it will export into a CSV file which you can then open up using your preferred spreadsheet program there. To export the data, just click on the export button at the bottom of the archive calls, and that will then export into a file. And on ours, it shows just at the bottom of the screen as a download there. You may need to go into the File Explorer program on your PC um, in order to find that downloaded file, but it will have the date range and it will be called Call Export. So you should be able to find that on your PC there. Now you can also um, add filters to this data. So if you export it as soon as you've got the date range in there, obviously it's going to export all the data that you've requested on the screen. But you can apply filters before that data is exported on the user console, which will then limit the information that you're exporting to your spreadsheet. Clicking on the filter button just up at the top, so the little funnel here next to the date range, will show the filters available through the user console. I can now filter these calls for either inbound or outbound calls, depending on what I'm looking for. I can even take out either the internal or external calls and just focus on one of those so that I can be looking for external calls. So those are the calls then that will be coming in through either the main number or any direct dial number. I can also filter these calls into the ones that were answered. I can look at those that were missed or had no answer, were abandoned, or where the patients left a voicemail. Now remember a missed call is a call that's come into the practice. They've made it as far as any menu options and made their selection and then they then begin to queue for the team that's going to answer those calls. 
Whilst in the queue, they then dropped out for some reason. So pulling a missed call report will tell you on average how long those people have been waiting in the queue. If you want to get more information, you can do that from the detailed call report because you can then pull off the report that includes all those missed calls. An abandoned call is a call that's rung the practice, heard the practice name, and then is disconnected before reaching any menu options. So you tend to see quite a lot of abandoned calls first thing in the morning, just before the telephone lines open, where patients are trying to get into the queue before the phone lines are actually open. They'll hear your closed message and then be forced to redial. So that will be classed as an abandoned call, whereas a missed call, the practice is open and it's made it through to a queue there for you. Now to apply the filters, you just need to click on the uh, filter that you're going to be using. <clears throat> And you can select one or more of the available filters here on the screen. So I've selected here our outbound filter so that I'm looking calls that have been made through the practice and I'm looking for those to go out to external numbers rather than the internal numbers that people are calling within the practice. With the outbound external I could then export that data and then I can use that data to give me information so I can see the calls then that are being made out to chargeable numbers very easily via the spreadsheet once I've uploaded that data. Once you've selected your filters, the data will automatically reload. So it will just take a moment or two. Uh, bear in mind that the larger date range that you have in there, the more data it's going to be pulling out. So the longer it may take to generate that report on the screen. And then once it's on the screen, you can click the export button at the bottom to export that particular call data. And it will just export then with the data that is displayed on the screen for you. I've changed my filters on this one. I'm now looking for inbound calls um, that were from an external number. So that can then show me the missed calls within the practice. I could add the missed call uh, filter in here so that I just get that, or I can export the report and then filter it within the spreadsheet itself. Now you can also change the date range uh, that this report pulls. So obviously you may not always want to use a week uh, data there. So if you click into the dates themselves, it will then open up the options to select the dates. So down the left hand side, there are some preset options. So you can just look at today's calls. If you're just looking for calls that were missed early this morning, we could look at yesterday's calls and see what the performance was like within the practice. We can do a seven day report, which is what this one is. Last 30 days, so that will give you a month's worth of data, but that is a rolling 30 day period. If you use the this month or that last month, that will focus on the current month. So this month at the moment would give us December's, whereas last month would give you November's figures. You can also add a, a custom range, which means then you can select the date and time that you want to start and end that range on. When you click on the custom range, you can then select uh, your start date with the first click. So I'm going to select the 28th to the 29th here. So if I click on the 28th, it will populate the 28th in the start time um, and it will always run from midnight as a default. When I click again, that will then select the second date for my end date. And that could be the same date if I only wanted calls for the same day. Once the dates are input into the boxes at the top, you can also restrict the times that the report is looking for. Um, so if I'm looking for particular details, you can put in the approximate time of the call with a start and end time there as well. Once you've made all the changes and you've got the um, filters and date range that you're looking for, click on the apply button. That will then resort the data on the screen to match the search criteria that you've then completed. You can then export that data and open it in the spreadsheet program of your choice there. So we're going to have a look at some of the data now and I'm actually going to look at the live spreadsheets. So in the slide pack there will be um, screenshots of the slides. We have cleaned up all the data uh, so the names in here are from our training database 
um, and we've also doctored the numbers there so that they're not easily recognisable. But within the slide packs, there will be slides that show you these reports. Um, I'm actually going to show you the live report. So this is our full call uh, report. So this is the data that we downloaded from the full call report with no filters on. So this is giving us all the information that you would then be able to see within the user console. Now it's in the spreadsheet though. Um, I've added filters up at the top. So just highlighted the top line, which will always be a header row, and then use the filters within the spreadsheet to give me the filters at the top of the page here. We've also created a pivot uh, table within this particular spreadsheet, and that's set up on a separate tab down at the bottom. Uh, the pivot table that we've gone for on this one is going to show us our uh, most frequent callers into the practice between the 23rd and the 30th of November. I've clicked on the data up at the top, as in sheets, that's where I go to add a pivot table. You'll need to select the data first, and the easiest way to do that is to click in the little box between A and 1, which will then select all the data for you, and then you can just generate that pivot table. You can either have a pivot table showing in the same sheet or on a separate sheet, depending on your particular programme. However, ours here has opened on a separate tab and on the right hand side, it gives us the columns and rows that we are using within this particular pivot table. So we've asked it to sort in the rows by the caller number. So it's looking at the inbound calling numbers into the practice. We're sorting it in a descending order, which will give us the highest numbers up at the top here. And then we also have the count of those numbers showing in the table here. You can add and remove um, columns and rows from your pivot table. Have a look in the help section on your selected program and that will show you how to manage those pivot tables within that particular program. Within Sheets it's quite simple, you can just click on add and then select the item that you want to have in that particular column. So here we have our numbers that are calling into the practice sorted by descending order with the number of times that they've come in. Um, we've got a blank spot here, so that would be um, any numbers that we weren't able to uh, determine when they were made on an outbound call. But our top 10 callers here, we have um, mobile numbers here for the first 10 listings, and that goes all the way down to where these people have rung in at least five times that week. So that would give me my top 10 frequent callers into the practice there. I can then search under that particular telephone number, either in the spreadsheet data, because that's where it's retrieved that information from, and I could filter the data down so it just showed me those calls. Because I've got all of the data on this web, uh, on this spreadsheet, it means that I'd also be able to see if that patient had actually made a successful call into the practice at the end of those calls. I'm going to move on to the outbound call data that we downloaded next. So we've now got uh, the outbound and uh, the no answer in here. So we've got all our outbound calls. Uh, this uh, screen is particularly useful because you can see quite easily any external numbers that have been dialed. So we're just looking for the external outbound numbers as we requested from the user console. Again, I've added filters and just by using the filters, I've actually sorted the spreadsheet by the dialed number order. So I've just clicked in the filter here and asked it to sort by this column A to Z. So that brings the lowest numbers up at the front and you can see any missed dials that people are making here where they're either dialing nine for an outside line or they're missing the zero off altogether on numbers. If we scroll down in the spreadsheet, you can also see um, the numbers here that are chargeable. Now within those filters at the top of the page, you can type the numbers in as well, so it will filter down to just those particular numbers. Chargeable numbers within the practice will be any number that begins 087, 084, 00 for international numbers, and we can see that there's some of those on our selection here and here, or any 09 numbers. 
So I can see that by using that little filter here, I only have international numbers being dialed through the practice, which would then be chargeable. I could clear the filters and then just select those international numbers and it would show me those international numbers on my spreadsheet there. On our pivot table on this one, we've actually done an outbound call count by user. So you can see how many people are making outbound calls. Obviously you'd expect to see your clinicians at the top of this table making more outbound calls than anybody else within the practice. It will also show you, show you however, how many calls have gone through the outbound call user. So remember the outbound call user is set up to capture any call recordings um, for people who are making outbound calls on desk phones but haven't logged in. So in this particular search in that week, we've had 246 calls made through the desk phones in the practice that uh, weren't allocated to a particular user. I could go back and filter those. So looking for the outbound caller user name. Um, which will then show us who is make uh, sorry, which of those calls have been made on the outbound call user here. So I'm going to filter this caller name. If I clear the filters, I can scroll down to just my outbound calls. And then when I select that, it will just show me the calls that were made without logging in. I can have a look at the times on these as well and see if they were before we opened or after we closed. Uh, if they're during the day, then I can be looking to make sure that everybody's logging into the system so that these details come up with user names rather than just the outbound call user there. On our final spreadsheet, we've got our inbound missed calls. So these are the filter then that we had on the user console that was just looking at inbound calls that weren't answered. Now I could also uh, filter this by queue name if I wanted to see a particular queue. Um, so if I look down the queue name here, I can see that most of them are for the appointments team, although there are the odd one, which are for other teams as well. And certainly our emergency bypass, I'd want to be looking in to why we missed that call as that call would have taken a priority and, and should have been answered as the next call into the practice there. I can also sort these using the filters up the top and I've actually sorted this by caller number. So that will mean then that each number is grouped together if it's called in more than once. So just by looking down the spreadsheet, I can see that we've got a couple of numbers that are the same here. Um, I can also see though that those called in six days apart, so it wasn't a same day missed call but I could check that that patient now has been through to the practice and actually spoken to us about what it is they needed to. Further down, I've also got another duplicated number here, um, and this one is showing that they, we had two calls on the same date into the practice. Um, so if I was running this report daily, I could actually check now that that patient had been through, or we could reach out to them um, to make sure that we're dealing with their query as well. OK, so through that call report, and as I said in the slideshow, I've included slides here as well that will show those. So we've got our top 10 repeat callers um, and changing the pivot table if you need to. In our exported data here, you can search just for those chargeable numbers and you can clear the selection and just start typing in the part of a chargeable number and it will show you if there are any numbers within that spreadsheet. We've done our count of outbound calls by user and also looked at the missed call data, um, which we have sorted on the user console before exporting. And then we've been able to search by the caller number so that we can see the grouped numbers together there. So during this session, we've had a look at accessing the user console to access the archive calls so that we can download that exported data. We've looked at the call filters that are available through the user console, and we've also looked at how you can manipulate that exported data in a spreadsheet.